Hi, Steve. Hi, Helen. So we're doing one of my favourites today, beetroot. Oh, yeah. I and mean, I've got a very special beetroot. This one's stripey. So Stripey beetroot? Stripey oh, wow. beetroot. So you can get Funky. lots of different types. Obviously, you get the nice, bright, purpley red ones. This one's uh, red and white. You can get yellow and you can... I think you can get like a whitey yellow one as well. So, so you can almost, almost get one for every football team you might support. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, right, so what I have here is another module tray. Yep. Um, I'm not going to sew all of these, but I just thought I'd show you this. It's They're, they're only tiny, but yeah. we're actually preparing um, some ground next door. It's not quite ready yet for me to sew direct. So I thought I'd show you how to do this. Um, so you just fill up again, like we did with the others. I'm only just going to do a couple of rows. And what, what you're going to get here is like little seedlings coming up. And then you can just push up the soil and then they pop out. Oh, cool. You, you don't get the root disturbance then. Excellent. Yeah. So what I have done is, a, in a, not a very clean uh, little tray, but I have soaked these in water for right. about 30 yep. minutes. Just some nice warm water. Okay. Um, it just aids germination, makes it a little bit quicker. So all I'm going to do, well, let me move that out of the way, is just get a seed and pop it in. One in each one, one again, yeah? One in each yeah? one. Okay. And that's it. That is just how easy that is. They take about 7 to 14 days to germinate. So you're popping it in and then you're kind of pressing it down into the... Pressing it down in, just so that it's covered with the soil. Yeah. And then you're going to give it a good water. and leave them in a nice cool place. They don't need too much heat to germinate these. So I would have done them direct into the ground, except we have got to sort of prepare the land first. Right. Haven't we, Steve? <laughs> Guess we have. <laughs> I know how much you love gardening. Hey, I do the filming, you do the gardening. <laughs> I'll get you out there. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much how you do that. Now these are little cluster seeds, so they could actually grow two or three beetroot for each one. Per seed? Per seed. Oh wow. Um, and then you can just thin them out as you need to. Okay. Fantastic. But doing it this way as well, when you sow them in the ground, you sow them quite thinly, but then you end up having to thin them even more. So you have to pull little plants out and throw them away or replant them. But this way, at least you get little little seedlings you can just pop them in at the spacing required lovely okay so we'll come back in a few days and we'll show you how they're growing excellent that's great well that just goes to show you can't beat root vegetables <laughs> i shouldn't encourage him by laughing really should i <laughs> thank you guys see you soon <laughs> bye, bye.